Hey friends, um, this is Pastor Jamie Dixon from Kingdom Life Church. Just want to quickly reach out to you all. And um, a lot of people have been asking, what about Tenacious Love? And what about our prophetic conference? And what about this and that? What are we doing in 2024? And uh, I know it's been somewhat of a mystery. Uh, we've been a little busy, but I want to reach out and give some clarity on what we are feeling from the Lord about conferences uh, this year and about uh, our approach just to be obedient to the Lord. And so um, earlier this year, we I began to feel from the Lord that um, that there's a different strategy. And um, and we have we had been lining up a lot of speakers to come and, and all that, not just for conferences, but just period for the year. And I'm going to share a few of those with you now. Um, but but we, as we began to do that, I really felt like the Lord was putting his attention on some other things and on discipleship and small groups and um, and so as we began to pray into it, I actually felt like the wisdom from the Lord was that we weren't to do conferences this year, um, but that we were actually to create, a, to create revival, like accessible, accessible revival, like moments where we would, uh, conferences, you know, for those who know the value of a conference, we'll pay for a conference. We'll take the time and come. Many of you know the value of that. But we have so many people across all of our campuses and across the state of Maine that are newly coming into revival culture, into the presence of the Lord, and they are not aware of the value of these marked few days of a conference. And I really felt like the Lord began to turn my attention saying to begin to disciple a new wave of people that um, will chase my presence and will make a place for my glory. And so we really felt like our focus was actually to turn away for a year, turn away from conferences and turn away to more accessible gatherings. Um, and so we're really excited about that. But the other thing I felt like the Lord was saying was that this was a year of really significant national events that we were supposed to be a part of. And so um, just recently, uh, we put our attention, Lou Engel was just in New England doing the Great Communion Revival, where for a few days, our team was helping sustain worship and prayer, where we went down to take communion and crowd for revival in New England. I spent a night in New Jersey um, with Lou Engel and, and uh, the guys at Resting Place House of Prayer. We also were partnered together with um, Sean Foyt, and we helped pioneer the Boston and um, Maine Kingdom to Capital tour, which was a significant event. We had over 2,500 people on the, uh, the Capitol lawns of, of Maine. We really felt like that was a really important moment that we weren't supposed to be focusing on conferences that we needed a rally for these really prophetic moments. Um, another one coming up is the Esther fast, uh, or the Esther rally in Washington, DC with Lou Engel. And, um, we can, are hoping to take, um, a hundred or more women from Maine down to Washington, D.C. to uh, pray on the Mall, D.C. for an Esther-like movement on women in America. And so, anyways, w there's these moments that we feel like we're not supposed to focus on our own events, but what God is doing in the nation. So that's a part of it. The other thing is, is that um, we're also putting a lot of focus on discipleship right now. And so um, this past week, um, 20 women just started um, a journaling small group going through the book Cultivate. And they're all just knitting deep relationships and going deeper there. We have uh, groups of men rallying around books and studies. And, um, you know, there's just a lot of really cool, smaller level focus. We just added four or five new life groups across the state of Maine with more in the pipeline right now, creating more home-like gatherings. And all, all of this being unto a, a deeper place of discipleship so that when we go into these moments with encounters and conferences that they bring they have a greater impact and a greater weight on the entirety of the body of Christ not just a small remnant of people that have history and experiences of the power of these conference like moments and I hope that makes sense and so we've taken a step back so that we can launch forward um, and in 2025 we will have our conferences back. Um, but this year we're hitting pause on them to focus and to be obedient to the Lord, which has been cool. We've had some prophetic dreams where we literally were changing our conferences to small groups and it was just confirmation to us. So um, apologize for the late response, but a couple things to look forward to is at the um, beginning of September, we're going to have Jeremy Nelson and Tracy Armstrong uh, coming for a weekend. And so stay tuned for that. Jeremy Nelson is going to be with us. Um, we uh, we just had Sean Foy on a Sunday morning. Then we did the Kingdom to Capital tour. 
Um, my friend JJ Waters is going to be here uh, in July, and he's going to be ministering, which is going to be so fun. Um, at the end of April, we're going to have, uh, or not April, I'm sorry, um, and near the end of September, we're going to have James Levesque and Rita Springer here for a couple nights. That's going to be incredible, so you're not going to want to miss that. Um, I'm also talking right now, I don't have the exact dates for you, but uh, Joaquin uh, Evans from Bethel, Austin, and um, and Bill Vanderbush, our dear friend Bill, are going to be coming for a couple days, and we're going to go after healing. Um, so there's there's some really cool events coming up, uh, and and we're going to have some weekends. They're going to feel like conference like moments, but they're going to be accessible, wide open, no cost, uh, just offerings, and we're going to trust the Lord. But I really want to encourage you guys to carve out space and make room for those weekends because they're going to be really dynamic, and they're the ones we feel like the Lord was leading us into. So. Um, we just had uh, Woody Woodson not long ago, and um, we're going to maintain some of, of those moments. So anyways, I hope this is helpful and maybe answer some of your questions about what's Kingdom Life Church doing in the name of conferences and events. And uh, that's our focus for 2024. And uh, we hope to have you be a part of every one of those moments with us. So love you guys.